Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Little Edge Softwares. Today in this video, we are going to show you, how to test our no recoil software. If you are somebody new here, and you don't know about this software, then go check out our detailed videos, to know what this software is all about, how to use it, and how to get it. All the links will be in the description. This particular video is for the people who just got the software, and want to make sure that the software is working in their system. After the payment software link, and your login credentials will be given to you. We will make you an active member, and then you will be able to access the download software channel to download the software. Once the software link is given to you, make sure of the following. Download the zip file of the software. Create an empty folder, and place the zip file of the software in that folder. Turn off antivirus software, or put the path of the newly created folder in the exceptions list of your antivirus software, so that your antivirus doesn't interfere with the software files. After that, extract the contents of the zip file in the folder. Then right click on the software, and run as administrator. Always run the software as administrator, otherwise you can face issues with the software. Now you can log in using your login details. The first time you log in, the software will tell you to restart the software. So click on OK and to restart your software. Log in again, and now your software is ready to be used. There are few things you need to make sure before using the software. Number 1, you need to be on Windows machine with mouse and keyboard. There is no restriction of mouse type, all mouse types work with our software, so as long as your mouse has left click and right click you are good to go. Number 2, you must have active internet connection to use this software. Number 3, you should only log in into the software from your main system which you will be using to play games. To test the software you don't even need to run the game. This software doesn't require the game files to run and that is precisely why this is 100% undetectable. So let's go ahead and test this software. The first thing you want to do is, click this new button over here. Now you should be able to edit all these boxes to create your configuration. I am going to fill these boxes to test the software. Let's start from very simple step by testing this software only for vertical recoil. Because we are testing for vertical recoil, I will put zeros in the horizontal boxes. For the vertical split percentage I am going to put 100 over here, this is basically all the time which is required to shoot 60 bullets with this RPM. I am not going to go into much detail right now to explain these numbers, we have separate videos to explain the settings. I am going to put 5000 in the factors of the vertical recoil and click on test. Now the configuration is running for vertical recoil and we have 5000 in factors which means this configuration is going to cancel the vertical recoil with the force of 5000. Now in any game you play, to shoot at the enemy you first ADS on the enemy by clicking and holding your right mouse button. So I am going to do the same here, I will click and hold my right mouse button. Now while holding the right click, I am going to press and hold the left mouse button to fire at the enemy. And the moment I click and hold the left mouse button while clicking and holding the right mouse button, the mouse will start moving downward, which means when you are in the game this will cancel your vertical recoil. For some reason, if this movement is very little for you or it's unnoticeable you can always increase the factors. You can put 10,000 and the mouse will move faster. Now I am not running the test, so when I right click and left click my mouse stays there, no movement. And now when I press test and then I right click and left click, you can see the mouse is moving with twice the speed in this case. So there you go, you don't even need any game to test this software. Now let's test it for the horizontal recoil. I am gonna put 100 in the horizontal split and I will put 5000 in factors. By default the direction of the horizontal recoil is to the left. And as I said earlier, we have videos explaining these numbers and we also have new feature now in the software as well, which is manual feed feature. So watch all the videos in the description after watching this video and then you will be able to create configurations for your guns very easily. Now I am gonna click on test again, and this time it should move downward because of the vertical recoil and it should also move left, because of the horizontal recoil. Now I will right click and hold my right click, and then I will left click and keep holding. So I am firing and as you can see my mouse is moving downwards and to the left side. At this point, it's pretty clear that the software is working, but still if you are wondering what if it doesn't work in the game? For that, I will open the game. You can open your desired game and follow the steps to test the software in the game as well. Now as you can see, I have opened my game and the software. 
so you can open your desired game as well after running the software as administrator. After opening the software as administrator, log in into the software by using your credentials. Keep the software open and don't enter anything into the software yet, just go into your game, select your gun, and go to the firing range or a match, where you can check the recoil pattern of your gun. As you can see the recoil of our gun is normal where it's going upward. Now this step is important where we will test the software and its effect on the recoil pattern. Keep the game open in the background, and open the software. Put these numbers into the software. For configuration name and gun name, you can put test. For RPM you can put 800, and in the magazine size enter 60. For vertical and horizontal split put 100. In the factor values of horizontal recoil put 0. For factor values of vertical recoil put 5000 in each factor value. After entering these details, click on test and go back into your game. At this point your configuration of the software is running, so we will visualize the recoil pattern of the gun again, and see the difference in the recoil pattern because if the recoil pattern is different this time, then it would mean that the software is working, and if there is no difference in the recoil, then that would mean the software is not working. As you can see there is a huge difference in the recoil and our gun is moving downward, which means that the factor of 5000 is too much for this gun. However, it does confirm that the software is surely working as it has affected the recoil pattern of our gun. So now we are 100% sure that the software is working on our system, but the configuration that we have is obviously not to make the gun zero recoil, so I will load the configuration for this gun which I made earlier, to show you how the recoil of the gun is going to look like when you properly set up the configuration for your gun after watching our videos, in which we explain how to make configurations for different guns. If you don't want to miss any of the products, which provide you that perfect little edge in gaming, while maintaining 0% chance of getting banned, then subscribe to our channel and more importantly, join our little edge discord server, and never worry about creating multiple accounts for the games, and purchasing spoofers. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.